ذلك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين It didn't take long after 9-11 until it was revealed that Muslims were behind the attacks. I had expected to see Muslims in America taking to the streets and protesting against bin Laden. Instead, in the years that followed, we saw many Muslim leaders standing up to defend or support the radicals. I think there is a general tendency to underestimate the threat which is offered to us in the present global conflict. I think the public in America is denied the strategic truth. Media and elite are not helping. The vast majority of Americans no longer are falling for the trick of the bad terrorists who are out there to get us. They are framing the debate as Iraq, or as Afghanistan, or as Guantanamo Bay. They are not showing the public the big picture. <laughs> In today's context, there are actually two different types of jihad. There's the violent jihad, where the Islamists use violence and terror to try to overthrow their enemy. And then there's what has been termed the cultural jihad, where these Islamists use in a most duplicitous way the laws and the rights they are given in our society to try to uh, work against society and overthrow it. America needs to understand that the jihadist machine is already within the society. Americans are being told that many of the mainstream Muslim groups are also moderate, when in fact if you look a little closer, you'll see a very different reality. One of their primary tactics is deception. Isn't it time for the unbelievers to discard these incoherent, illogical beliefs, theories, and conjecture? Isn't it time for every Christian, Jew, pagan and atheist to cast off the cloak of spiritual darkness which enshrouds them and emerge into the light of Islam? Have you ever stopped to think about what would happen if the Islamists won and their version of Sharia law was put into place? All you need to do is look at countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran, Sudan and Somalia and places like the Gaza Strip and you'll see that those places are human rights disasters. Across the world, uh, we see that Christians are having a terrible time of it. Christians in Iraq are deliberately targeted. The past six months alone, seven priests have been kidnapped and two of them murdered. All kinds of countries. We see Christians being persecuted, being uh, oppressed, uh, their churches being burned down, uh, Christians being murdered, uh, sometimes in very large number.
nation and way of life that we believe in. If we are not willing to recognize it as a battle for our civilization, then we may as well give up right now. against my country, when you come against my family, you try to destroy my people, and I can't just stand by, there's no way that I can stand